Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my photo card collection video and I'm so excited to do this. The last one I did was about a year ago and I will link that too in the card, but it's been a really long time and I wanna do these more frequently about every six months because I want to see my progression of photo card collection growth because I was rewatching or skimming through my last one and just to see the growth already within the year has been so crazy. So it's something that I really wanna do. I think that photo card videos are really fun to watch as well. So I do have about eight possibly nine binders if i decide to show my a4 binder but i probably will show that so it'll be in about nine binders so let's get started so this is the first binder i have and this is my girl groups binder i don't actively collect a lot of girl groups and it's something that i've been wanting to work on especially in 2021 um but this is what i have so this is the i think this is a half inch binder and i don't decorate my covers too much or like some are not decorated at all i need to work on that as well but the first group in here is Itzy. So for Itzy, I collect Che and I collect all of her Korean album cards. I'm missing one more from IC. I have one coming in a Makari haul, which is so cute. I love these cards. I also did have Yuna's Polaroid a long time ago, but I traded and I got scammed. So I've definitely learned since then. It was a long time ago. So if I ever can find her Polaroid for a good price, I will. But if not, it's okay. And then for It's Me, I do have her three album cards. This one is so cute. It's probably my favorite. And then I need to get her unit cards, which are low priority, but I definitely want to get them. And then next is Not Shy. So again, I have her album cards and then the unit cards I am working on. And also if there's a card that you want me to go more in detail about, please leave like the pocket number. So like this would be pocket four and the timestamp. And I can tell you what that is because for a lot of this, I'm not going to go through every single card um, because it'll take too much time. But just let me know and I'll be able to tell you. And then this is like my extra Issy page. So Yeji and Yuna are like my biggest bias workers, especially Yeji. But Yeji can be more expensive. Um, I was going to collect them, but I decided not to. But these are the cards that I have. So I pulled this Yeji card. So if I pull Yeji, I will keep her. And then for Yuna, I did buy these two because I was going to fully collect her as well. But I decided not to. And I love blonde Yuna in this era. So I've kept them. So this is just where my extra Issy cards will go. And I have some of the postcards. Let me move this a little bit. And then next is Twice. So for Twice, I collect Jihyo. And I really want to work on this collection as well, especially getting her cards from Fancy On. So that's one of my goals as well. But she's just so cute. I think she might be my old girl group bias, but like this card. So definitely from Fancy On, I want to collect her more thoroughly. And then maybe go back eventually to her older cards. And then these are the full sets for pre-orders. I also want to work on my Twice album collection too. This year. And then next is Blackpink. So for Blackpink, I collect Jisoo, except this Rosé card. Rosé is my bias record, and this card is so cute, so I've kept it. But I also want to get all of Jisoo's cards as well. They don't have too, too many cards, so I don't think it'll be too bad. So um, maybe I'll do a Makari little haul and <laughs> buy some girl group cards, because I definitely want to work on Itzy, Twice, and Blackpink. And then next, I need to get another paper. But these are my other girl groups. So I have uh, Red Velvet, Idol, Everglow, and EXID. I also get CLC albums, but I don't collect their photo cards. Like, I will sell their photo cards because I just don't like Cube's photo card sizes. And I'm thinking of collecting Everglow a little bit more thoroughly and, like, buying all their albums because I just have this one. But I can't decide on a bias. Like, they're all so amazing. And it's just really hard. And then Red Velvet, too. I would like to get more of their albums. But yes, so that is it for my girl group collection. Like I said, I do not collect a lot of girl groups and it's something I really need to work on and want to work on in the future, but especially for Itzy Twice and Blackpink. But let's go on to the next binder. So this is the biggest binder I have and this is my first boy group binder and I have a lot of groups in here that I will... For some, I collect my biases like album photo cards or Korean album photo cards. And there's some that I'll just get how many versions I buy. So let's say I buy one version and they have two photo cards per version. I'll just try to trade for the two photo cards and call it a day. And then there's some in here that I just keep who I pull. So I do have a BX and X1 freebie. And this is my biggest binder. This is a three inch binder, I believe. <laughs> and on the side, I just have like a bunch of album stuff. So Doc B, Pentagon, 
Beckin and then another BX one. And then <laughs> NCT is not in here, but I can't get the sticker out, so it just stays in there. So the first group in here is only one of, and I do collect all of Yu Jung's photo cards. He is my bias. The only card I'm missing is this one, so the second version card for their debut album and it's so hard to find i do have rie who raised my bias record and this card is absolutely adorable but if anyone has yu jung and wants to trade please let me know and then that is it for the album cards then i also have the photo book card their first photo book and these are just some bigger inclusions the next group in here is One Us. So for One Us, I do collect Raven and I collect all of his Korean album photo cards. I don't buy all of One Us's versions anymore. I used to. I need to buy his other two cards on Makari, but I actually did pull him for their new album. And then I don't normally trade for like bigger items, but for Raven, I like to, especially for like these type of cards. Postcards, I'm not sure if I'm going to anymore, but we'll see. And then next is EXO. So for EXO, I collect Chanyeol, and I really want to work on this collection as well. I kind of have been neglecting this collection, which I want to pick back up um, and finish Chanyeol's Korean album cards. But these are what I have so far. And then the Chinese cards that differ from the Korean version. But like his cards are just so beautiful. He has some of my favorite photo cards. And this is EXO SC. And then we have Baekhyun, Suo, um, Chen, and then CBX. I also have to get Kai's album still. <laughs> I'm like so behind on some releases. And then it's just some of his postcards. And then next is SF9. So for SF9, I collect Chani, but I just collect his selfie cards. So none of the concept cards. Um, and I've worked quite a bit on my Chani collection, which I'm proud of. Originally in my first video, I was just keeping who I pulled and then possibly trading for Youngbin if I could because Youngbin was my bias at first, but my bias did switch to Chani and I want to collect his cards. So I just collect his selfie cards and then I'm just missing some. So hopefully I can finish this soon before they come back and uh, them going on Kingdom. <laughs> and then these I'm selling if anyone's interested in any of these because I just collect the selfie cards. So making some progress. And then for bigger items, I just keep whoever I pull. Next is very, very, so I do the same thing for um, Ho Young. I just collect his selfie cards and then some concept depending, glory types, because I like those, but these are what I'm missing. I've bought some of his cards on Makari, but I just didn't mark them. So I think I need like two more selfie cards and then two Polaroid cards, but those cards are DIY, so they're a little bit harder to find because they're limited. This is one of my favorite cards. It's so cute. And then also this is an MMT card and I don't collect his mmt cards so that was sort of like an impulse buy um, i might sell that card though but it's cute and then for bigger items i just keep who i pull and the next is we i and i didn't put a filler here because i just traded this card but we i i have decided that i wanted to fully collect daehyun so i'll be collecting him fully and i did that right when their comeback's about to happen and plus i think they have like 12 cards so <laughs> Oh my, but I have two coming on the way from a trade, so I think I need two more selfie cards and then one more Polaroid card. So I have Sokwa if anyone wants to trade for Daekin's other Polaroid card, and I'm really excited for their comeback. It's going to be so amazing, and they look so great, so. And then next is Doc B. So for Doc B, I collect all of Ichan or Changmin's photo cards, and I also have one MMT. I would like to get his second MMT if I could, but we'll see. I will probably sell this Junso card just because I don't plan on collecting him. I did get it originally because my friend got into their fan sign and I wanted this MMT card. So I already had um, Ichan's photo card. So she gave me Junso, who is my second bias, but I probably will be selling his card. And also I'm selling his MMT card too. I'll link my Instagram if you're interested. And then next is CIX. So for CIX, I collect BX. I collected him fully until I totally spaced the name, but the one with Jungle on. But this is what I have for them. For their first album, I collected all members. Um, well, one of each card for the other members and then two for BX because they had a lot of cards and I bought a signed album. And then, so this era is when I stopped and I'm just going to be collecting two photo cards per release since I 
only buy one version now even though the photo cards for their newest album are so cute um these were not my favorite photo cards from him just because i don't 100 percent like his hair so i don't know i'm still debating on what i want to do but i'm thinking i'm just gonna collect two and call it a day and then these were from sub k so sub k did an event and i got bx and jin young signed Next is TXT. So for TXT, I collect Subin and I just trade for his cards because I buy one version as well. I kind of want to get the second selfie card though, eventually. And then next is Wonwi. So for Wonwi, I have two biases, Younghoon and Kangyun. And they normally have two photo cards per version or two photo cards per album. I just decided to collect one of each of my biases. I still have to get their new album as well. But check out one Wii, they're so amazing. And then next is X1, which I probably will move X1 and 101 into a different binder because those collections won't change. But X1, for those who do not know, were one of my olds. I ulted them very fast. I fell so hard for them and I was heartbroken, and I still am, that they are no longer together because of Mnet. But I did collect the full Bisung version, which is so beautiful. And then Quantum Leap, I collected Sungwoo, who is my bias or was my bias in X1. And these were their fan club kit cards. Ooh. And then the Kino. I still eventually need to get some of his other one. And then these are all the solos. So I collect woods and then Wusak and then H&D, but I probably will be selling H&D's album. I still love them very much. I might keep the photo cards, but we'll see. And the next is Icon. So for Icon, I collected Hunbin, and I still really want to finish this collection. I recently found a trade for one of the cards, so I think I'm missing three or four. So that's another big goal of mine, too, is to finish the Icon collection. But it's so hard to find Icon cards. And then these are just some of the other members I have. Which Icon is also going to have a comeback and go on Kingdom. And I am so excited for Icon's comeback. I miss them so much. And Bobby also recently came back. Um, I still have to listen to that full album, but his title track is really good. And next is N Flying. So for N Flying, I just keep who I pull. If I can trade for Hoon or Sunghyub, who are my two biases, I do. But if not, I don't really mind. So if anyone wants to trade for Hoon or Sunghyub, um, let me know on Instagram. But if not, it's fine. And then next is uh, GOT7. So for GOT7, I collected Bam Bam. So for them, I only bought one version as well. Or like I started to only buy one version. And I would just get how many cards per version there were. I still want to get one more card just to put here to fill up the page from last piece. Because I love the cards, especially with his red hair. So I'll probably buy that on Makari. And these are just some of his bigger items that I've pulled or traded with my sister for. And then these are just some other member items. Next is BTS. So for BTS, I used to collect all of Jimin's photo cards. So I had all of them up until Map of the Soul. But recently I have sold quite a bit and just kept some of my favorite cards. I still want to get their Map of the Soul 7, I believe it's called. The one that On's on. <laughs> because I just really like that album. So eventually I will get one version for that. Next is 101. So for 101, I collected Sungwoon. Um, and I was going to collect Daniel, but he was way too expensive. So I do have his collection complete. And I don't know if these two are official, um, but I got them from my local K-pop store. So I'm not sure. I don't think they are, but maybe they look official. And then we have the Kino cards. And then this is Sungwoon and Daniel solo stuff. So... Sungwoon, I'm like two albums behind. I really need to get those. I want to work on that and get those albums. At least one version per album. And then Daniel, I have um, quite a bit because he is one of my favorite solo artists. And then I am selling this Jisung card with the album if you are interested. And then we have Astro. So for Astro, I trade for Jinjin. And I also want to work on my Astro collection as well and get some older albums. Just like one per version for some albums. Because I really like their music and I love Jinjin's photo cards. Especially like this one. Like his photo cards are always so cute. So maybe I'll just go and buy some Jinjin cards. 
and then I have shiny which shiny is coming back and I'm so excited oh my goodness I'm so excited but for shiny I just keep whoever I pull even though Taemin is my bias I just love all the members of shiny so much and it makes me really happy to have all of like a variety of cards from them so I do have actually one of each member which is amazing for my shiny pulls and then solos I want to get Taemin's extended album since both albums are on there I just need to get that <laughs> soon I'll probably to go to my K-pop my local K-pop store and just buy some albums that I have not purchased recently and then we have MCNDs for MCND I just trade for Castle J's cards if I do not pull him mostly just the selfie cards and then the ID cards or extra cards I'll just keep whoever and I buy one version from them as well and my sister actually got into their video call she gave me these three MMT cards and then next is Pentagon. So for Pentagon, I sort of keep who I pull. If I can trade for Yenon, I do. But I'm debating on what I want to do with my Pentagon collection. Album-wise, I'm keeping their albums. But photo card-wise, I'm not sure if I'm going to be selling my photo card collection. Um, it's something that I've been thinking about doing, but I'm not 100% sure just yet. But this is what I have so far. Their photo cards are just so weirdly sized, and I don't know. But I do love all members and I love Pentagon, but we shall see. Oh, there's a little sleep for that. And then the last group in here is one team. I collect Jinu. I just trade for how many versions there are. So I buy one version and then there was two photo cards. So I just traded for these two. And these two card cards are so beautiful. I love this one especially. So hopefully one team can have a comeback too because I really love their music. But that was it for this binder. This is the biggest boy group binder that I have. And then we will go on to the next binder. So this is my semi-old binder. And I have um, something from Gravity from their photo book. And then a Victon freebie. Ooh. So on the side, I just have a bunch of stuff. This is so unorganized. But a lot of freebies, treasure stuff, Victon, Gravity, a lot of different things. The first group in here is treasure so for treasure i collect three members i collect jihoon mashio and jaehyuk and i really need to work on this collection they just have so many photo cards so it can be a little overwhelming at times but yeah so this is for the first album or chapter one these are the selfie cards so the white version black version and then the k-town cards and then we have the concept cards so white version black version and then this is the start of chapter two. So the K-Town cards and then the selfie cards, which if it has a black sleeve, I am missing that card. So yeah, I'm missing a lot of the K-Town cards for this era. The white version and the black version. And then we have the white version for the concept card and then the black version. And then this is the start of chapter three. So K-Town and then the selfie cards for K-Town. And then I'm missing a lot for chapter three. So all the K-Town cards, I have this Mashio selfie card on the way, and then I'm missing some more selfie cards, and then concept cards. So yeah, it's <laughs> not doing too hot, um, but I do have a lot of treasure cards up for trade on my Instagram if you're interested. And then this is the start of treasure effect, so I'm working on this still, and I have some that I'm keeping for a sorting photo cards video, like their K-Town cards especially, I have all of them. So yeah, I need to also work on this because they have three versions and before I used to buy two sets but this time I only bought one just because I don't really need have the room for a lot of extra albums so I need to definitely buy on Mercari for treasure cards. Now this is where their first press cards are so I actually have this completed at least and the backs are super pretty. And then I was collecting a full set for the debut album for chapter one, and I'm just missing Hyunsuk and Jungu, but I might just trade these cards off. I'm not 100% sure if I'm keeping this, but it'll look really cute once it's done, but we shall see. And then I'm just missing the Polaroid with Mashio. Uh, I don't remember exactly who else is in it. I'll link who else is in it, but I'm missing that unit card. And then next is Cravity. So for Cravity, I collected a full member set for version 1, and it looks so pretty. And then I, after I collect Sedum and Jungmo, Sedum is my main bias in Cravity, and then Jungmo is also a bias, and I collect him. And I'm missing this card. It's coming on a trade, but it's just taking a really long time for the other person to mail out. And then the Polaroids bigger items normally for bigger items like i've mentioned i don't trade but for cinnamon jungbo i like to especially cinnamon i like to get all of his stuff 
and then I collected all of the members for the film strips because they're so cute. I just love Cravity so much. And then for their second album, I decided to collect Taeyong's cards just because he's a huge bias record for me and the rainbow hair is literally so iconic and I just think it makes the whole page look so beautiful, like especially the outdoor cards because outdoor concepts are my favorite, so and plus the backs are so pretty. And then the Polaroids, I'm just missing one more with Jungmo that I need to get. So like since they have four, I just keep whoever else I pull and then I'll try to get Sediment Jungmo's. And then these are the film strips. So for the new album, I'm still working on it. Um, I do have one gen if anyone wants to trade for the last set of my need. And then I'll just buy Jungmo's on Makari. And then I do have their film or their ID cards and also Taeyong's, which I pulled. And then the Polaroid. These two are also up for trade if anyone's interested in trading for the set of units I need. And then I'll just again buy Jungmo's. And then these actually fit in a three pocket, which I was so happy about. Um, and I'll probably just buy Jungmo's. I'm debating if I want to get all members for these, which <laughs> I don't know because they're like big items. But I think they'll look so pretty. So we'll see. And then going on to non-albums. So this is their Cloud9 merch, which is so cute. The photo cards for them. And then this is from their photo book. And then this is just my extra page. So I have some Sinem things. This was from Tower Records. This is from the... Uh, what was this from? This is from the fan club kit, K-Town, K-Town, um, K-Town, and then these are also from K-Town. So I will get Sedum and Jungwell, and then I'll just keep whoever else I pulled. And I do want to get more of Sedum's um, stuff too, like non-album things. And this is G-Market, and this was from the fan club. And then next is 17. So for 17, I collect Ming Hao, and I am almost done. I just need one more card, so... That's really nice. Well, technically, if I want to get the other unit, then I need two. And then I, for nine pocket size albums, because I'm missing the postcards from their debut album. And then also, I think, one, like, bookmark card that I'm not, like, too worried about. But the only card I'm missing is the last AL1 card or alt card. So after Director's Cut, that's when I separated them by album. So we have um, You Make My Day. And then these are just from Ideal Cut, put as fillers. And then this is from You Made My Dawn. And then we start in Ode, which I love this set so much. Ooh, I love this set so much. Like, these cards are so beautiful. Oh, he's just so adorable. And then the rest of the cards. I do want to kind of get his circle cards. And I'm debating if I want to make them all five pocket like this or keep them. So, I'm not sure yet. But. And then we got Hengare. And then semicolon, so semi since semicolon only had two cards, I decided to collect my other top two bias workers, so Escoops and Jangan. Um, I do have this Escoops card on the way. And then for bigger items, so there's one more of this, but I'm just keeping like it to four pocket stuff, so I won't be getting that. I don't get every single thing for him, it's just what I can get for him for the bigger stuff. And then we have TOO. So for TOO, I collect three members. I collect Chan, Jisoo, and Kyungho. And I literally miss them so much. I want them to have a comeback so bad, but I know it's been a lot with CJ Entertainment, which I cannot stand them. So hopefully they can have a comeback soon because TOO just makes me so happy. Like, I can't even explain it. I just, I love their music. I love them. Like, I watch their videos and I love collecting them. So I just really hope they have a comeback. And then these are the first time they did selfie cards, which are so cute. And then other circle cards. And I did collect one of every member or the other members. Like, look at this Ungi card. Oh, I can't. These are the ticket tickets. And then these are the slogans, which I'm missing Kyungho, but I don't want to trade this extra Jisoo because I hate trading items like this size. So I probably will just buy his and then put Jisoo back in the album. And then these are all of the, like, not album stuff. So, MMT, um, I actually got this from M-Wave. I won it, which is amazing. I never win anything from M-Wave. So, this is what it looks like. If it'll focus. It's so cute. And then these are from, I think, Music Korea or Music Art. I did get a video fan sign call for Jisoo. Um, I bought a slot for him, and then the seller gave me those cards. 
And then we have 86. So for 86, I collect Oong, but the same thing with CIX. The first album, they had a lot of cards, and plus I bought a signed album, so I got one of every other member. And this is a freebie I got from an Instagram seller who is amazing. And then this is where my Oong collection gets sad, so I definitely need to work on his collection. I've been slacking a little bit, but... I'm missing four cards. I just love how they all connect. Like he's doing the same pose for each version, which is so cute. And then salute is a hot mess. I think there's there's just so many cards. So I think there's eight, and you only get one per version, so it's frustrating. Um, and then the new album, I'm actually doing pretty well. Um, if anyone wants to trade this Wujin or this unit card, let me know. But they only have four cards this time, and I'm not collecting all the units, so. And then this, I need the last one. I did trade Dehui's for a selfie card from um, the Salute Repackage, so I need to find that card. That's why it's blank. And then I actually pulled two of these. My sister pulled the other one, so that's why I've kept them in here. But if I don't pull his, I just keep whoever. And then these were from KCON. I did buy their signed slogan, so this came with that. And the next is Victon, so I'm actually really happy with my Victon collection and how far I've come because I've started collecting so after X1, so his cards were super expensive, but I've just waited and tried to get them for good prices. So the only card I'm missing is the ready one, his blonde hair, so hopefully I can get that soon because I don't think I'm going to be collecting the baby card or the lenticular just because they're really hard to find and I'm not the biggest fan of baby cards and... I mean, if I ever find the lenticular, so I might move this card here, oh, here, and then um, all of these three, because there's three cards for nostalgia. I'll collect Hansei, because he's my bias wrecker. Byungchan card is so cute, so I'm not sure, but that's my thought process for now. And then I need to separate all this, but these are the MMT cards. I totally spaced the MMT deadline for Victon this time. Um, I don't know why. I was just really busy with work and stuff, and I just missed the deadline. So hopefully I can find his card for a decent price. Um, I do have this Byungchun card if anyone wants to trade for any Sungwoo cards that I'm missing. And then I will start buying because I'm not going to buy more versions for this album. So hopefully they're not too bad on Makari. And these are the postcards. So I do want to get one of Sungwoo's. Um if I can and then these were the the standees and then for fame I'm just keeping whatever I pull I pulled I'm not gonna buy any more cards as of now for him but and then the postcards and then next is ace and I collect June and <laughs> Collecting Ace is pretty hard, um, especially for their old albums, which we all know if you're an Ace collector. Adventures out of print, so I have these from the album for Adventures of Wonderland. I do have one copy, and so I have his cards for that. I want to collect him for Undercover On. It's just been a lower priority as of now, but eventually I would love to collect from Undercover On. And then just some bigger items. And that is it for my semi olds binder. So now we're going to move on to my olds binders. And I have four olds binders because I have five olds. So let's get started with that. So this is my first olds binder. And I do have five olds. So NCT and Monstags are my main old groups. And then I also old Stray Kids, ATs, and the boys. So in here is where ATs and the boys are. Stray Kids used to be in this binder, but it was just way too big. So Stray Kids has their own binder. So in here is Hong Joon's, like, one of the pages from the album. I got one of his fansign slots, and this was something also that came in it that the seller gave me. And then here I just have a Teases fan from their fan cafe. I got the photo card set, so the seller gave me three of these. And this is a The Boys sticker that fell. So we start with ATs, and so for ATs, I collect Hong Joon, collect his Korean album cards, Japanese cards, and then non-album cards. So these are the fillers that I have. So I made these fillers. It's fillers, and then album cards, and then special cards, and then MMT. So these are K-Town for You pre-orders that I got for their debut album. And then here is the start of MMT. And then the first anniversary cards. And then I kept this Son card because Son is my bias wrecker, him and Mingi, and I just could not give up that card. Um, I was going to collect Son quite a bit ago, but 
His cards are just way too expensive, and it's just easier, in my opinion, collecting one member of ATs. My sister collects OT8, and I don't know how she does it. But for Fever, they didn't have two cards anymore. They have five, so this is Inception, Thanks, and then the Diary card. And then now they have... Um, they just are coming back, which I'm so excited for their comeback. I cannot wait. It's March 1st, which March is my birthday month. They're putting out Before They Go on Kingdom, which is a really smart move. And I'm so excited. But um, they do have three versions, and then they have two cards per version. But you only get one, of course. So that's six cards. And then there's three limited cards, which I don't know if it's going to be like the Polaroids and they're extremely limited, or if it's going to be just like a pre-order type limited. So with those it would be nine album cards so i'll be collecting those <laughs> and then these are non albums so um for fever so we have mmt album music k-town two of the fan sign cards and then this is from the name tag so i do want to get more of his fan sign cards and i'm also missing topedia i think that's how you say it so i do want to work on that as well but these are just my two favorite ones so i got them immediately because they're just so pretty like especially this one i I'm in love with this card. It's one of my favorite home tune cards ever, so super cute. And then these are the Japanese cards. So I'm missing this card, which is the blue version, and it's very hard to find, um, or it's more so that it's really expensive. So I might just have to just buy it <laughs> at this point. But I also got a KCON card or um, KCON Japan card. This is from the blue version I don't have. I bought it on my card for a good price. And then this is the anniversary postcard. And then this is the other non-album or special cards. So this is the DVD and these are from the season's greetings. And then this is the start of my full OT8 set for ATs. So this is the Treasure Cafe cards, which I love these cards so much. This is the first time that they ever did selfie cards and they're just so beautiful. Like once I saw a picture of them, I just knew I had to get them. So I bought them when they came out from a seller in Korea. And then the backs make eight makes one team. So this is the only photo card set that's not age order. So normally I do leader and then age order, but I just had to do it for the backs. <laughs> And then these are the light stick cards and i have the second anniversary merch cards which i love this page so much i did the spread and then these are the perfume kit cards with that they do with my music taste and then the season's greetings these are the postcards from the second anniversary and these were their tour photos um, K-Town for you pre-order. This is from a fan site at KCON because I bought one of the pickets and that's what came with it. And then these are all the group cards. Next is the boys. So for the boys, I collect Hagnian and Sanu. So I have all of Hagnian's cards. It's just Sanu that I need to work on. I decided to collect Sanu a little bit. I want to say a little bit while Kingdom was going on. So his cards have rose so much and the boys got so much popularity from that which i'm so excited about and i cannot wait for kingdom three of my ults are on it so it's going to be uh very hectic and chaotic and i'm nervous for fan wars and stuff but i am generally very excited for it so these black sleeves are the cards that i'm missing for sanu so yeah but i've been collecting hangyan since uh right here era i think is when i officially started collecting him because i used to just keep whoever i pulled but so I set it up diagonal pattern. So I'm missing this unit card and then the selfie card for Sanu. And then this is complete because I don't think I'll ever get Sanus for these since they are limited. If I ever do, then I will change the layout, but I don't think I will. And then this is also complete, which I'm so excited about. And then we have the unit cards. And then for the only, I'm missing this one card. And then I probably will never, never get the Sanu card either because it's limited. And then Bloom Bloom, I'm missing one of his cards, first ever broadcast card, and it is for Hangnian, and it's so cute. I love this card so much, and it just makes the page look complete. And then for Dreamlike, I'm missing one card, and then I have Hangnian's MMT. Um, I don't really think I'll get Sanus for this, just because they're not my favorite, and it can be pretty pricey. And then this is the DIY version, so I'm just missing Juyun. So if anyone is selling for a good price, please let me know. But Juyun, his prices are pretty high. 
And then for reveal, I'm just missing one card. And I actually have Sunu's MMT card, which I cannot believe I have. Um, I traded something for it. And this is one of my favorite Sunu cards. So very happy about that. And then for Chase, I am done with Sunu's albums or his album cards because I bought um, some albums for the fan side. I think I only bought 12, but it was enough to complete their photo card set. And then I'm just missing one more for Hagnian, which I have a Sungyan card if anyone wants to trade. And then these are the ticket cards, which look so pretty with the light with the white sleeves. And then MMT, um, since I bought a ton, I have all of the members. I'm actually selling some extras as well on Instagram if you're interested. And then this is like the special page. So I have Hagnian's tattoo or the Japanese card, which I want to get Sanus for. This is from one of their fan signs. And then I want to get five photo cards or pre-order cards or fan sign cards um, for Chase per member. So five for Sanu and five for Hagnian. And I have some coming on the way already. And I also want to collect these, put them in the white sleeves because I think they'll look really pretty. So I have Sanjay and Eric if anyone wants to trade for Sanu's. And then I'll just buy Hagnian's on Makari. And then this is the Sangyoung card I have if anyone wants to trade for the last Hangyun one. And then these are the lenticulars that I'm not collecting just because they're not my favorite. But I do have one of Sanyu and one of Hangyun and then I have one of Chani. So these will go somewhere else once I find a trade for that card. And then these are the Road to Kingdom merch cards. The AR cards for it. And then the booklets from Dreamlike, which I want to get Sanus. So it'll fill up the page too. And then postcards, I don't collect them. I try to get one of each if I can. Uh, for Dreamlike, I'm not. But I kind of want to collect them both for reveal and for chase. So we shall see. And then at the end, I just have some of the boy stickers. Whoa. So that was it for my first Ults binder. Let's go on to Stray Kids. So this is my Stray Kids binder and I want to get a different binder just because all of my other binders are white and this one just will stand out a little bit, but it works for now. But this is where Stray Kids are. So here I just have the cards that were given with the season's greetings and then this is one of just a Chan freebie that I got. So we start with mixtape and so Stray Kids was the first ever group I stand pre-debut and this set just gives me a lot of nostalgia and brings me a lot of joy and happiness because it just reminds me of the show and how hard they've worked and I just love this set so much. So I was going to collect all members when they first debuted but I decided not to and I just was collecting Chan um, but I did want to get a full set so I do have one for mixtape and then I started collecting Changbin during Levanter era, I want to say. I don't like the setup for this page and I kind of want to change it, but for now I haven't, but we'll see. So this is the mixtape selfie cards. This is I Am Not, and then we have the start of I Am Who. These are the I Am Who concept cards, which I will probably put with the mixtape ones and then give this their own page and then move these here, if that makes sense just because I don't really like how these look. So I probably will change that soon. I was just too lazy to do it right now. <laughs> and then this is I Am You. So the only card I'm missing for Changbin is the pre-order card. So if anyone is selling it for a pretty decent price, because I know that they're hard to get, please let me know and I'll buy it from you. But I do the diagonal pattern as well. And I always put like my two favorite cards here if they're not like the border cards. And then this is the unit card with Chan and Changbin. This is one of my favorite sets. And then we have Miro. So I have the uh, logo and then the border cards. And then um, concept card, limited cards, and then yellow wood. And then yellow wood, same thing with the borders. And then Levanter. So these ones and then the border ones. Levanter is probably my least favorite set just because I don't really like these two borders, but they're still so beautiful. I like the backs though. And then concept card, the lenticulars, and then the go live limited cards. And then go live, so same thing. And then the double sided card and then the group card. And then I collected a full set because I love the double sided cards and then the hoodie set was just so beautiful. I just really wish that Sungmin and Jungin were had the orange background, but it's okay. 
And then for In Life, I have their double-sided cards, concept card, and then all of their unit cards. And then I did collect another full set. So I think from here for Go Live On, I want to collect a full set for them. So these were their cards, which is so pretty. This Yundrin card is immaculate. It's so beautiful. And then one of their other units. And then these are the unit cards. Not collecting them thoroughly. I kind of just want to get one of Chan and Changbin and call it a day. The Yellowwood cards. Then we move on to Japanese cards. So I do collect both of their Japanese cards. So we have SKZ 2020 and then we have Top. I'm still working on, but I do have one more. I need one more for Chan, the selfie one, and then it'll be complete because I'm not going to collect some of the, like the Tower Records and stuff ones, but... Then we move on to um, non-album cards. So these are from Sub K. So I do mostly get from Sub K. And then I think this is from Shopee. And then I have Chan's With Drama card, which is so beautiful. I want to get Changbin's as well because I just love the hollow effect. And then I have this Felix and Sungmin card. And I'm not 100% sure what to do with them yet. I might sell or trade them, but... They're just so cute, especially because Felix is one of my bias records. Like, I don't know. And then I have another pre-order card for Chan. And then this is the High State Coloring Book for Three Racha that I pulled. It's the photo book photo cards. So I do have Chan, Changbin, and then I have Jisung. Um, and I have Chan's Polaroid. I want to get Changbin if I can find it. And then for Stay in Playground, I got Chan's. So Chan is always my number one priority for non-album stuff. And then if I get could get some Changbin, I do. Oh, I need to make fillers for these. I forgot. This is just another non-album page. So I have some Chan things from Unveil. And then these were from their merch. These are the AR cards. And then these are their Polaroids. So I have some of these, which are really pretty from Unveil. And then these were from the District 9 Unlock merch. And then more Unveil things. It's really hard to keep up with a lot of Unveil stuff. So I don't buy everything i just buy what i can find or what i you know can get oh these were from their fan club and then these are from their season's greetings which i did not uh move these yet in my sorting photo cards video i totally mixed up those orders and i forgot to change it are there lenticulars from their merch and then for their album stuff so i am collecting all members seeing jisung and mino that i need to get eventually and then the rest i just get chan and changbin And I had a bunch of these, so. And then this is from District 9 merch. Their online concert. And then these were from the photo book. And then this is a Changbin freebie. And then the um, unlock ticket. So that was it for Stray Kids. Now we're going to go move on to Monstex. So a few hours have passed now. I did um, have to eat dinner and then my brother, he plays bass guitar. So he's been practicing. So it was extremely loud. So now it's a little bit later at night. So I apologize for the lighting. But this is my Monster X binder. And this is just some stickers and freebies that I got. I love this one so much. So that's just the decoration. And then over here, I just have some standees um, that didn't fit. I have this from... Fantasia X and then some freebies. So I do have four old biases. Taeyong is my main old bias from NCT. And then I also old Minhyuk, um, Chan, and Hongjun. So this is my Minhyuk collection. And we start with his album cards. Trespass, Rush, and Clan Part 1. So these are put together. And this is the only binder that I use uh, blue paper for. And I want to do that with other, my other binders as well. Because I like the coloring. It makes it look very nice in my opinion. And then Clan Part 2, Beautiful, Shine Forever. These are just some other types of inclusion. So this is from Beautiful. These also are from Beautiful. Let me move this a little bit. And then we have the postcard set. And then we have a code, the connect. So this is the first ever set I got. Um, and this was for the code nostalgic to me and it's really special because this is when I ulted Monstax. This is also when they got their first win with Dramarama 
and I just love this era so much and the card set is so cute like this is one of my favorite Minhyuk cards and every time I look at this I just get so happy and I love them so much and then this is the connect so I also try to do a full set ever since the code and then how I sort it is so this is the code and the connect so then I put the other cards and like other inclusions afterward if that makes sense it's kind of confusing but it's just how I like it's set up and then for now this is the code and the connect unit cards i don't have a bunch but i do want to work on them eventually and then the code pre-orders the connect i did collect all members for these and then the connect tour cards i wish i bought the second set at the concert but i sadly did not and then these are the sorry it's kind of hard to see with the lighting but these are the connect dvd cards they're holographic which are so pretty and then this is Are You There? And the set for that. And then these are also the unit cards, so I have all of them complete, which is really nice. And then the Polaroids. So Minhyuk is the one who I always prioritize for the big items. And then I try to get um, Changyun and Kihyun just because they're my like bias records and I pull a lot of show news, so I have him as well, which again, I'll be happy with whoever, but I do try to get them too if I can. And then We Are Here, which had the most cards. And this is the set I chose just because I had... My sister gave me like four of them, three or four. So I only had to buy Hyung Wans, but I don't really like this set. I don't like how it looks. Um, it was just easy to complete at the time. But I'm going to swap this out and probably get another photo card set eventually because I just don't like how it looks. And then the We Are Here unit card, so I'm just missing the one with Kihyun, and this is my favorite one, and it's literally so cute. So hopefully I get that soon. I haven't been looking for it, so I need to finish that. And then the Polaroids. These are more holographic cards from the We Are Here DVD set. And then this is from um, Follow, which is my favorite photo card set from Hyuk. I love these so much. His hair is so pretty, and these are just really great cards. This is also his G Market card, and then these are the ID cards. And then this was the full set. I kind of cheated and used the Kino cards as them just because the Kino cards, I bought the set for it. And yeah, so I counted that as a full set. And I did keep this 1O card that I pulled. And then these are the standees. Then these are the Kinos, which I might take out um, and just put mean hooks, but they fit in here for now. So I'm not like, I don't need a bunch of room yet for this binder. And then the standees, I should have put white papers, but I have Minhyuk, Shonu, Kihyun, and Chungyun. And then this is for Fantasia X, so I have his um, cards and then all of the unit cards. And then I also have this Shonu card if anyone is interested. But I did also keep the Chungyun and Kihyun unit just because it's so cute and I just couldn't resist. And then this is the other Kino set, which I cheated and just used because this is one of my favorite photo card sets. It's so beautiful. I love the outfits and like Kyungwon's hair. It's just a beautiful set. And the Polaroids, I am collecting all members. I'm just missing Kyungwon, which I need to get soon. I keep putting it off. I need to get it. And this is from the Kino. And then this is also just the same thing that I have here. And then for Fatal Love, I have his Elm cards, his Kino card, and then I need the Withdrama one, and then this is from Sub K. And then I also am collecting a full set for K-Town, so I'm just missing Shonu. And then I have Hyungwon, Kihyun, and Shonu's for Sub K that I will probably be selling. I'm not 100% sure yet because it's so cute, but I already collected a full set, but... Like, the cards are so pretty, but I do want to get Minhyuk's with drama, and I also want to get his sub-K one, and maybe one more if there's another one to fill up the page, but we'll see. But I know the MMT one I definitely want, so I don't know, maybe I'll do some trading for these, and I have to buy show news. This is the inclusion, so this is the message cards, and then these are the lenticulars, so I have Minhyuk, which is kind of hard to see, um, Kihyun, Changyun, and then Juhan and Hyungwon. For bookmarks and then we have the full group or full group cards I have an extra that was gifted to me and then these are the shine forever stickers um, this was also gifted to me then we move on to Minhyuk's Japanese cards so I do have all of them up until wanted which just came out and I think there's a physical for that this is from all about love so I have Minhyuk, Kihyun, and Shonu and the group one 
And then these are some non-album cards for Min Hyuk, which I really want to work on his concert cards. That's one of my biggest priorities for him is his concert cards. But I do have some fan club cards, kingdom card. And yeah, so I want to work on his non-album stuff too. Some big postcards. And then we have Tony Moly, which I am really far behind on. Um, and it's really low priority for me, but I do like to get some from each set. And this is my favorite thing ever. He's so cute. I just love looking at this. And his smile is my favorite thing. Like, so cute. And then we have Tony Moly. I will probably be selling all of this. So Wano, Shonu, and then Kihyun's. And then this is Tony Moly, the full set. Then we go on to the photo book. So this is one of the card sets. And then the Polaroids postcards and then these other postcards i need to make another white page here but these were the lenticular type cards and then these are the season's greeting cards and the other season's greetings so this is mean hicks g market card and then the 28 Teen seasons greetings i believe one fine day and then we have this is where one always as well i buy all versions and i just keep my polls so i'm really excited for his comeback as well and then i have this other postcard if anyone wants to trade for another one that i don't have and then the film strips and this is just where i keep my extra blue paper for this binder so that was it for my Monster X binder. So let's go on to my last like photo card type binder, which is NCT. So this is my last like photo card type binder before I go on to my postcard binder and then my A4 binder. But this is NCT. So on the front, I just have a print of Taeyong that I bought. I think I had it when my last photo card collection video, but I will link their Instagram. They did change their name. This is a superhuman super human print, and then this is from the Ace Kit. So over here, I just have these stickers. is Daikon or Daikon booklet, and then these were all from Macari when I bought the Nature Republic postcard. All these came with it from the postcard booklets, so I just kept them here. And then this is NTT Dream from their Reload album. So we start with Empathy. Sorry, the lighting is bad, like right here. But for Empathy, I originally, when I looked back at my video, I was collecting just Taeyong and Yuta. And I think I was going to collect Kun. My bias line in NCT did change. I have nine biases now in NCT, which is absolutely crazy. Um, so for 127, my biases and who I'm collecting are Taeyong, who is my main old, so yeah um yuta and doyoung so doyoung is a new addition and then in wavy i collect um yang yang and shaojun and then i'm also collecting 10 now i used to collect kun i'm no longer collecting kun i love him very much not collecting him anymore and then in dream i've collected jeno and now i'm collecting jamin so i'm collecting two members so i've added doyoung and Jamin recently is to my collections and I was collecting 10 for a little bit so I still need a lot more cards for Doyoung and Jamin but it's a slow progression <laughs> um so for empathy you might be like why is Jungwoo there so Jungwoo I don't collect but during empathy era he really stuck out to me so much like him and Mugus editions were amazing and Jungwoo especially like I loved his part in boss and I just he was such a huge bias record for me and I was thinking of collecting him at the time but I didn't um, I like keeping continuing to collect him going forward, but I did not. And I love his empathy cards, so I decided to collect them. So it would be seven, which I think I like the seven pattern a lot. So that's why. But I'm missing Jamin. So I just decided to collect Jamin's empathy cards because now that empathy is coming back. And then I originally was going to collect a full set for the dream version, but I decided not to. And then for the dream version, I'm missing Jeno and Jamin. And then I also have Lucas and Kuhn if anyone wants to trade for Jeno or Jamin's cards. And then the postcards. I don't keep postcards in here really anymore other than album postcards, but these are just so pretty, so I had to. And then we move on to Resonance. So for the past version, I collected my top nine. So I'm just missing Xiaojun. I have Yuta on the way in a Makari haul. 
So, and then I'll have all of them. I'm also collecting Shotaro. I didn't mention that. But he is another bias of mine. So, my nine biases. Um, and then I'm collecting him in any unit he's in going forward. And then I'm collecting a OT23 set for the future version. So, I have Johnny on the way. I just didn't mark it. Missing these members. I've made a lot of progression, which I'm really happy about. I'm missing Hichan and Lucas. And then this is done, which I'm so excited about. I'm just... Ugh, very happy so i'm technically only missing one two three four five six cars which is amazing considering how expensive nct cards are <laughs> i've just been very patient with it and then for kino cards my main priority is always Young, so i do have both of his kino cards um and then i traded for this doyoung card just because this doyoung card is so gorgeous and then i do have lucas which i might trade this lucas card for any one of my biases cards just to have one of them but if not i'm completely fine with having lucas and then for the access cards i'm not really working on this just yet or the is this access cards i don't remember what they're called yearbook cards i'm not working on them just yet i haven't decided if i want to collect all nine members or just keep it to these or maybe add two more i'm not sure yet so but i do have taeyong yinta ten and yang yang uh, taeyong i'll get for everything so and then the postcard, I have Taeyong, Tan, and Yang Yang. So this is even lower priority. I'm just going to get one more member just to put here and then call it a day. And then for the arrival and departure, the arrival version, I am collecting all members again. And I do have some on the way. I just haven't set up yet. I need to make a video for like setting up for it. And then for the arrival version, or yeah, for the departure version, I have... Do I have someone else, someone else on the way? I'm not sure, but I'm, for this version, I'm collecting all nine. It's on my Instagram, so that's how I keep track of everything. But I'm collecting all nine for here and then all 23 for here. And surprisingly, I pulled this Taeyong card. So when I did my unboxing, I pulled Jayon and I believe I pulled Yuta, but I traded Yuta for Jeno just because Jeno was a little bit harder and like more priced on the card. And then I bought another copy and I didn't film it, which I was going to film it when I got home, but I got too impatient. And I pulled this Taeyong card and I the screech I let out Oh my goodness, like I should have got my reaction because I was freaking out. <laughs> like these, this card goes for so much money and it's so sad. And then this card is, is a Johnny Regulate card and my best friend got me the Doyoung cover for Christmas. And it came with Johnny's card, but I already had Doyoung, so I'm just debating on what I want to do with it just because this card is so pretty. And then for the Kinos, I have both of Taeyong's and I have Jeno because this card is so cute. So I did find a trade for Jeno's and then I have Shotaro on the way, which I traded for. I have the IDs and then the access cards. So I'm still debating again with what I want to do with these. But for now, that's who I have. Then we move on to 127. So I have Taeyong and Yuta. I mean, Doyoung wasn't in Fire Truck, so I don't have to worry about getting his cards for that. And then Limitless, um, Cherry Bomb, I've decided I wanted to collect all members, so I have, I just recently bought Tails, and so I need to get the other members, but since the album's coming back in stock, I'm gonna wait a little bit, and I wanna finish Resonance first. And then we have Regulate Regular, and then Regulate, so I do have Doyoung's card, um, I need to get his cards here, but I'm gonna be doing a setting up video for Doyoung and Jamin, the setup for this will be different. And then these are the album postcards. I don't think I'm going to be getting Doyoung's for these postcard stuff. And then Superhuman. So I have um, Taeyong and Hita. So I did the album cards because I did recently get Doyoung. And then the Kino cards because I don't think I'll ever get <laughs> Doyoung's Kino card because they're not restocking the Kino cards. So if I ever do, then I'll change the layout. But for now, it's the album cards, even though this is out of order. And then the Kino cards. And then for Neo Zone, I have um, Taeyong and Yuta's Kino. I want to get Doyoung's. And then this is the start. So this is the uh, N version, T version, which I have Doyoung's. C version, I collected all members. Final round, I have all members, which is so cute. Jungwoo's is so, so cute. And then the player two, and then the Kino cards for Taeyong. And then uh, going forward, I'm probably just going to collect one of each of Taeyong. Yuta and Doyoung if I can. Since they have two now, I might just stick to just collecting Taeyong and maybe try to get one of Doyoung's and then call it a day and then going forward just get all of Taeyong's. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with Kino just yet, but I will always get Taeyong's. And then the postcards. 
and then moving on to japanese albums so i have chain and awaken and then for love holic i probably will only be collecting taeyong just because there's a lot of versions this time and i think there's four photo cards and it's just going to be way too much especially collecting taeyong he's a really expensive member to collect so but we'll see if i can find cards cheap on makari then moving on to super m so for super m for the american version i collected all members because i bought all of their covers or all of their album versions and then these are the korean version and then this is the american version so and then the group card so i am collecting 10 now in super m but i'm not collecting his korean album cards just because they're really similar to the american press ones and plus they're really hard to find and they're expensive so i'm just calling this good to go and collecting him from here on out but not getting the korean version cards and moving on to super one i did collect all members and their cards are so cute i just love super m's cards and then i have the group cards and then taeyong and Ten's ids and then all member group cards Ooh. and then this is for the asia version so taeyong Ten's card their unit cards and then the group card and i love this unit card this took me so long to get when someone messaged me finally for a trade i was so happy because i had two 10 cards and i was about to buy it on makari but the price was really high for it like than what i wanted to spend and people were selling it for like 10 plus dollars and i didn't really want to spend that much so when i found the trade i was so happy <laughs> And then moving on to Wavy. So for Wavy, like I've mentioned, I now collect Ten, Xiaojun, and Yang Yang. Before I was collecting Kun, Xiaojun, and Yang Yang, but now I'm collecting Ten. So I finally found Ten's takeoff card, which I never thought I would find. Someone was selling their whole Ten collection. I have a signed Yang Yang card. Yang Yang is my main overall bias in Wavy, so I did spend the money on that. And then we have Take Over the Moon, which I collected all members. And then the sequel card. Now that the album's back in stock, I'm hoping I can find 10s for a good price because, oh my goodness, the card is so expensive because it's out of print, but now it's being restocked, so hopefully. But I do have Strawberry Coon, and like, the card is so cute, so I might keep that card. And then these postcards, I'm just going to get one more, either 10 or Xiaojun, and like, call it a day. And then for Awaken the World, I have it complete. And this is my special page, so it's mostly Yang Yang, but this is the tattoo card, brochure, Wavy's photo book. This is the Bad Alive Chinese version. These are some hollow cards, and then this is from the Bad Alive photo book, which I pulled Hendry, and my sister buys this Hendry, and she pulled 10, so I've just kept it because I didn't really want to trade. I really like that card. And then I have this Kuhn card, which I'm definitely keeping because it's one of my favorite cards of his, and then maybe the Strawberry Kuhn one I'll keep. And then the takeoff one, I probably will be selling. Then moving on to NCT Dream, so I collect Jeno, but like I said, I'm now collecting Jamin. So for now, I have this one card, and I have his other version of... What version is this again? For Reload on the way. So Reload will be done. Is an SM Museum card. I bought it on Macari a long time ago, and it didn't specify that it was. And so eventually I need to find the album card and then sell this one. But for now, it, wor it works. And then for We Glow Up, I decided to collect a full member set because I love this era so much. It's one of my favorite eras for NCT Dream. And the cards are so cute. Like, look at this Chunla card. So, very adorable. Um, I do have Jamin's on the way, so I just need Heichan and Jisung. And then this is my small, not album, section. So I do have Jeno's brochure or not brochure, the AR from the online concert, and then I do have one of Jamin's cards coming for non-album, so I'll either try to get some Jamin and Jano non-album cards, but it's not like a huge priority, but this is where it'll go, because I want to collect Dream a little bit more serious, but not get like every non-album thing for it, because I just mostly get Taeyong stuff. This is the Wee Bloom scratch cards, and then the Japanese um, postcard. Then for circle cards, I just collect my top biases um, in each unit. So Taeyong, Yang Yang, and Jeno. And then we start the non-album section. So this is for the Neo City tour. So I have Taeyong and Yuta's card holder, and then this is the tour bus. So I don't collect Yuta's non-album anymore, but I love this like set, and it's so cute. This is one of my favorite Yuta cards, so I do keep these two. And then these are all of Taeyong's hollow cards, so minus the smart card. But yeah, super pretty. I just got the resonance 
one in today. And then this Mark card is from the Super M concept book. I have Mark if anyone wants to trade for Taeyong. I haven't been able to find a trade just yet, but if you're interested, let me know. Non album card collection for Taeyong. This is probably one of my, my biggest goals of this year is to work on my Taeyong non album collection, especially for photo cards. I want to get anything I can for him that I really love. And so, yeah, that's something I really want to work on is just having more Taeyong in my binder. But I do have his first anniversary card, Spring Fan Party, the uh, Tour Photo Book card. These are the Ace Membership Kits, Super M Chinese Photo Book or Magazine, Memorial Book, Nature Republic, and then Back to School Kit, which I'm also getting his new Back to School Kit. And this is from the Beyond the Lives, so the brochure cards, um, the AR cards for 127 and Super M. And then Super M non-album cards. So all these I got at the pop-up shop, except this one I bought afterward because I wasn't able to get it at the pop-up shop. So yeah, all these I got at the pop-up shop, which I love these cards. And then this one was from the tour that I attended. And then these ones I recently just bought as well. And these are just some bigger items for him. And then these are my full sets. So Super M full set from the tour. These I recently just got. This was like their, I don't remember what item it was from, like their little postcard. No, no, it wasn't postcards. Mini brochure, I think it was. And these are 127's Seasons Greetings pre-orders. These are Wavies and then Dreams. They're so pretty. This was the Summer, summer Kits um, pre-orders as well. 127's photo book and then Daikon or Daikon. I do have Taeyong's other one on the way from Makari, the newer ones. And then back here I just have Regulate um, and then these are just some freebies that I got. So that was it for my NCT collection and this is my biggest goal of this year is to work on my NCT collection and get caught up especially for Empathy and then working on my Doyoung and Jamin collection and then also working on my Taeyong non album collection. So yeah, this is my biggest priority to complete. So that was it for my NCT binder. That completes all of my old binders. So now I'm gonna go on to my postcard binder. Okay, so this is my postcard binder. I'm gonna go through this kind of quickly. Oh, this came off already. But this was Taeyong's little resonance. Po I think it was from a poster that I bought on Macari. Like it was ripped, so. It was like ripped off and I have all of Super M's postcards in here. So every member and then both of the units. I'm trying to get bigger sleeves to put those in. So I have Taeyong's Limitless postcards, Beyond the Live, Nature Republic, um, Regular Irregular. I love this print. And then we have 100 and Tiger Inside. I just got Resonance uh, dropping. And then these were the summer kit stuff, um, ace kits, and then season's greetings for last year. And then I have Yuta. Like I said, I don't collect him anymore, so I'm not sure if I want to sell these, but they're so pretty. And then this was from the Neo City tour. I bought the member postcards. And then Empathy. And then these are Wavy's postcards for Wake in the World, or um, Take Over the Moon. My bad. And then these are Yang Yang's things. And then Jeno's from the um, concert. And then for Empathy, I have Ten and Jungwoo, if anyone wants to trade for Taeyong. And then this, I did. I found a trade for Taeyong's. These are some Kino cards. This is Yang Yang's from the um, photo book, which are so pretty. And then Dream from the Summer Kit. And then Treasure. So these are just some of the postcards. I just need one more Jaehyuk. And then this is a mess. Like I haven't traded for any of these. <laughs> so I have some duplicates. I need to work on that. And then for this, I want to get Jaehyuk. So I have Harato if anyone wants to trade. Because these ones are so pretty. And then I have Cravity. So this is from their Summer, their photo book as well. Which I did take out of that binder. And then Stray Kids, this is all of their postcards. They had so many, but it's so great to go through and like see how much they've grown. Oh, I just love them so much. 
and I did buy these for one of the unveils. And then 17, so I have Ming Hao's in my binder, but this is from the tour when I saw them. I have the 8 and Jungan, and this is Baekhyun's, and then uh, CBX. And then back here, I just have some of the sandies that I was too lazy to put in my drawer, <laughs> but... Yes, so that is it for my postcard binder, and I'm going to quickly just do a flip through of my A4 binder. This is my A4 binder, and I did get this binder in New York, but I'll try to link the store that I got it from. And so I'm going to quickly just skim through this and speed it up. So that was it for my A4 binder, and that completes my photo card collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am so happy to have this video. That way I can look back in six months and see how much my collection has grown and see if I met any of my goals. Let me know which photo card collection goals you have for this year and who you want to focus on and who you want to complete or looking to start maybe a new collection. I definitely would love to read those comments. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>